Hi friends, good morning and welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. So this morning I want to bring to you these super adorable vases. Now you could use these for candle holders. However, you would need to use flameless candles in these because the epoxy, you don't want to get that hot. So these I'm using as bases and this is a really nice technique. You can do so many different things with this and you can take it up as far as you want. You can make it as low as you want. So very, very um, different in the ways that you can do it. I have and I'll probably do another one with summer coming because I gave away the one that I had. A friend really wanted it. But I have done them where I've made it like a beach scene and made my colors in to look like a beach. You can add decals to these. Just the sky is the limit. Now, you're going to get a different look with these depending on whether you put your alcohol ink in your epoxy or on your epoxy. So by that, I mean, if you take your epoxy and you put the alcohol ink in it, which is what I did for these, you're going to get a different look than if you put on epoxy and then drop alcohol ink. That's gonna give you a different look. And then you can also put mica powder in these and those look really nice also. It's a completely different look. And so for this tablescape that I am working on, I'll probably do a beach one, I'll show you guys, and then I'll do some with mica powder and I'll show you how that looks as well. So yeah, super cute, these are fun. Just a nice inexpensive way to just really make some nice decor pieces. And again, you can do them however you want. Now with the alcohol ink, your darker colors really always overpower your lighter colors. My yellow is not nearly as notable as my blue, of course, so that's why I used a lot more yellow than blue in here. So the video is coming up next that shows how I did these. I hope that it gives you some inspiration. I hope that you have a blessed day beautiful day. Thank you so much for joining me. Please give the video a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't already done so. I'd love to have you for a subby friend and thank you so very much to everyone who has been supporting me and to have a blessed and beautiful rest of the day. Thanks. Bye. All right, so I've got my vases. I got one big one, one small one. And I've got my proxy. Now, this one has got two pumps of each, part A and part B. It's two to one. It's the normal proxy that I use, the Envirotech Light. And then this one is one pump each, part A and part B. And then I've got my alcohol ink. Are you like me, like, Sometimes I feel so guilty because I buy products and craft supplies and then just completely forget that I have them, don't use them, and it makes me feel so guilty because, you know, I shouldn't be doing that. But these are both ones that I got, you know, I got really lucky. I was at, tar at Target one day. And they had these, like, alcohol ink sets on clearance. Like, they were so cheap. Um, like, just a few dollars with several things of alcohol ink in them and different things. Anyway, so this is part of them. I hadn't used these colors yet, so I thought I'd use them. This is Ultramarine Blue. And this is the... Um, Cadmium yellow. This is Brie Reese. Now I've used this type of alcohol ink before. This is actually one of my favorite alcohol inks. Alright, so I'm going to use my darker color in the smaller one just because I feel like 
I might need more of my lighter color, so I'm going to use my lighter color in that one. Okay, so I'm going to leave these out because I may choose to put some on after the fact. So, with your alcohol inks, when you're trying them on different things, I would suggest doing it both different ways because you get a different look. So if you put epoxy on and apply your alcohol ink, you get a different look than if you put your alcohol ink inside your epoxy. Completely different look. And then you also want to have a heat gun, which I have available, because your heat gun is nice if you need to move your alcohol ink around, especially when you put your epoxy and then your alcohol ink. Now, I have my two glass vases. These are both from Dollar Tree, but you can get your glass vases anywhere. And then I've cleaned them both with denatured alcohol. Okay? So now, I'm just going to put some epoxy. Now the nice thing with this, you can do this however you like. On this one, I'm not wanting to go all the way up. I'm only going to do my vases halfway because that's the look that I'm going for. Now these are not going to be the same. There's not really any way to get them exactly identical. But they are going to be matching vases. So I'm just going to apply my epoxy and my alcohol ink. Now this yellow is going to be oops, interesting with the blue. I thought it would mix together, give like some green highlight off. I'm hoping that some of the yellow also shows up pretty well. That's why I decided to make a little bit more of it because Of, you know, just not being sure. How well it will show up. Through. Now, the nice thing with this is as it spins, it's just going to keep changing. So, it is completely up to you what kind of look you're going for. Do you, if you want it to be a little thicker, you could leave it like this and let it change on its own. Or, you could take your heat and move it. Now, when you're using your heat... You want to keep your heat moving, and you can use your heat in different directions to make your epoxy go in different directions. But you don't want to stay on one side. All right. 
processo da lei de lixo na arte, ao vivo aconteceu. You can also add after the fact. So, and it gives it a completely different look. I'm going to just add just the hair of your little. All right, so what we're going to do is just let those roll, and then we will see how quick and easy this was, and you will be very surprised when you see how beautiful these are. Now, I have done these two where, I mean, I have purposefully done certain layers to make them come out in like a beach scene, you know, different things like that. So, I mean, the sky's the limit with these. There's so many really, really great things that you can do. So, anyways, happy inking and have a blessed night. And then we'll see you when these are done. All right. Bye, friends.